Well, they're gonna walk around it, everything gonna light up at night. They probably sit with it at night. It'll be almost like an outdoor gallery, memorial. It's gonna be very unique, very unique. I've never seen anything made this way outdoors, maybe inside of a building, but not outdoors like this. So this outdoors is going to enhance the whole community and the city of Buffalo as well. These are the 10 fires here, and each one of these here represents the people that died at Tops. My name is Valeria Cray, and I'm a sculptor, and I work in metal, wood, any kind of materials that make me feel comfortable in, but mostly metal, and I love what I do with my work. Everyone create art in their own way, but mine's a more of a three-dimensional piece. But I create art because it, it helps me to define myself. And each piece I make is a part of my spirit that goes into it. For the last couple of years, I've been working hard and working on different kinds of designs for sculpture. And when I heard about this coming up, um, my son and I decided to put our bid in for it. I've been working as a sculptor since I can remember. I did work for Saxfus Avenue, Bert Duff Goodman, Tiffany, Cartier. I did work for uh, other galleries in Washington and New York and Buffalo. And I got my uh, a double master's from Pratt Institute in New York City. There was no woman in that class at all because it was basically a man world. But I liked that challenge and the, um, I liked what I was doing. It was like a new world for me. Welding and sandblasting and using a plasma torch and all that. And I've been around doing work and been commissioned to do other pieces throughout New York State. So I've been very blessed and very proud to be doing what I'm doing. I went to our Bright Knox and um, I spoke to the, the head of the, of the gallery. He saw one of my pieces, Adam and Eve. He was quite impressed with that. But that was an old piece I made in the 1970s. And I just happened to reserve that piece and put it away. And he said, you know, Valeria, once we buy this piece, it'll be in our permanent collection, collection and be priceless. And he said, you know, you're the first black female modern artist in this gallery over 100 years. All the names and the faces of those who were lost I didn't see numbers, I didn't see stats, I didn't see ages, I saw family. In regards to the sculpture you see in front of you, my mom asked me to speak for us and on be her behalf, we would like the families in our community to know this work is our love, it's an embodiment of our condolences and embrace. So you can know a little of the artists who brought you this work. The sculpture is called Unity. It's a very sensitive piece of sculpture because it represents a family that lost loved ones that had been killed. It was a very hard piece to make because a lot of people don't understand abstract art, a modern art. My mom's passion and work is rooted in the community and the culture, black culture, black love, black familial love, and responsibility to our people. Most of my style curves, and they're very soft curves, and they flare out in different ways and have a certain kind of movement. Even with these spirals that we're doing, they move inward. The curves of these spirals stand for the inner pain that people carry within themselves all the time. And they can't let go and they can't let it out. When I'm doing anything, I'm praying a lot. It's not just my work, I always say it's God's work. And God will point out the people to work with you to do the work. And he gave me some fantastic, wonderful angels to come along and create the peace and make the peace work. The two brothers. They're fun to work with, very smart, but they had the skill and the talent to pull the sculpture off to make it be what it's supposed to be, exactly like the markup that we put together, my son and I. If I put the tabs on it, it straightens out the bend, and then I gotta go through and cut all those little tabs off, and then it gives you that nice, sleek, 
This is very unusual because it was made out of stainless steel, which is hard to bend. It's a very hard alloy to work with. When sitting with the work, experiencing it, noticing the subtle changes of shapes, the symbolic number of spires, the intention behind the colors and materials, the way two spires fold into each other to form the shape of a cowrie shell, or the cylindrical base to represent the African drum. This work tells the story of our community. Each spiral that's reaching upward stands for the spirit of the people reaching upward, and then they're reaching towards the heaven. The light that shines from each of these spirals represent the life that still lives on. So there's a lot of meaning behind this one piece of sculpture. I just pray that this piece will be a blessing and anointing over the whole community, that people come around from all over to recognize this and see this piece. We ask that when you visit this work, you may rest your grief at its feet, that it can offer some space for meditation and solace and resolve. And I feel that this piece is gonna make history it's going to change the whole community, anointing over the whole city of Buffalo.